Okay, 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 YouTube, welcome back to another video, and apologies for looking like a scruffy mess this morning. Not only am I in desperate need of a trim, but I've also just finished my fasted cardio as well. That is up by five minutes now, so that is feeling hard, but I was actually listening to a, a David Goggins podcast while I was doing my cardio. So if you need motivation for cardio, that is definitely the one. That man is, is built different. I mean, people say that, that with my routine of up at 4 a.m., cardio, you know, prep life and everything like that, a lot of people say to me, a lot of clients are like, Finn, you're built different. No, trust me, David Goggins is built different. That man is a different breed. Anyway, today is a rest day and I'm going to take you through a full day of eating. I know I recently did do a full rest day of eating, but my nutrition has actually changed since then. Food has taken a slight dip. So I'm going to take you through the new nutrition layout and I'm also going to give you a little bit of a prep update as well. Take you through a little bit of a day in the life. Today is a pretty heavy work block to be fair, but I will run you through what I'm doing just to break up this vlog a little bit. So it's not just meal after meal after meal, but you guys do seem to enjoy the full days of eating. The the last two got very, very good engagement. And then funnily enough, the 500 gram of carb day didn't, which I'm thinking surely everyone wants to see the carbs. No, clearly not. Clearly people want to see me on little to no food whatsoever. That being said though, it is on the build up to summer. So I can imagine a lot of lads wanting to have a rough idea on what to eat in order to get absolutely shredded for holidays, IB for season, festivals, etc., etc. If you do want help and guidance getting there, there are still one-to-one -one coaching slots available on my team, so I'll leave a link in the bio for one-to-one -one coaching. Be sure to get in touch. But other than that, let's get on with the first meal. Okay, okay, meal one, ladies and gents. Excuse the hood as well. When you're on prep, right, you'll know this if you've competed. It's one or the other. You either always have your hood up or you always have a beanie or a hat on, something like that, right? For me, it's the hood at the minute but I do wear my beanie a lot when I'm out on steps, to be fair, because despite the fact that we're literally heading into April next week and the weather is slowly starting to get better, when you've got no body fat on you, the wind kind of just hits you a little bit differently. But anyway, meal one, let's get into that. That's what we're, that's what we're here for, right? So, meal one, aka the best meal of the day, which is a little bit of a shame because once it's gone, I then have to wait till the following morning in order to have it again. But we got three het chicken sausages in here, two whole eggs, 250 milliliters of egg whites with some spinach. And then we have a bowl of 65 gram of cream of rice and 30 gram of whey. We will be having some light. It was meant to be more whey, but where I kind of pair these two meals up, I then transition some whey later on in the day where I just kind of have like a whey paste. And then we are just gonna treat ourselves to one of these as well. One in the morning, always getting nice and caffeinated and getting set for the day. But anyway, I'm going to sit down, eat this, and then I will see you with the next meal. Okay, okay, okay. It's around about 10.30 now. I've literally just been out to do some steps. It's been about three hours now since we last ate. I'm going into my first block of check-ins now, which is getting started a little later than normal this morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have 60 gram of whey paste. Well, 60 gram of whey, but I'm turning it into a paste. That will just keep me nice and tied over into the next meal. I'm also gonna have 150 gram of strawberries with this and 20 gram of dark chocolate. Just a nice small meal, again, nothing special, but it keeps me tied over into my big lunch that I'll be having later on at around about 1, 1.30 p.m. So that will be the next meal after that. See you for that one. Back with meal three now, which is technically lunch. It's about 1.30 p.m. I think it might just be over 1.30 p.m. actually closer to two. So. We got 150 chicken breasts with 200 potato and some lettuce. I literally just throw that on top of lettuce when it comes to my veg sauces on prep, lettuce, spinach, things that are high volume, next to nothing in calories. Always works, keeps me that little bit more full, that little bit more satiated. And then we have 85 gram of cream of rice. So this again, a nice big meal. This will tie me over for the next three hours roughly until I get the last meal, which is nothing exciting. But once I finish that meal, then all I have to do is go to sleep and then I get my nice meal again for the following morning, my nice big meal one. So yeah, that's pretty much everything there. I'm going to crack on, eat this, get back into work and I'll see you for the last meal. Okay, okay, just a quick one because we are on a call this evening. We're here with the last meal, same as last time but without the call, 150 chicken. 200 potato thrown on top of some lettuce. So I'm gonna eat this while finishing off the call and then I will be back with a little prep update. So, quick prep update. 
In the last video in which you saw that is when we ran the 500 carb refeed. So I woke up that morning looking very, very flat. It was the first time in which the coach had looked at me this prep and said, you're flat, you need freshening up. So what we did is we decided to double carbs from where they were at. My carbs have roughly been at around about 260, 270 gram of carbs and we decided to virtually double that round that off at 500 gram of carbs and run that for the day with keeping protein and fat exactly the same. So after having run that refeed, or prior to running that refeed, we were 92.8 kg on the scales, which is my lowest yet. Scales have fluctuated a, a little bit throughout the, the past week prior to that, but 92.8 kg, that was my lowest this prep. Obviously ran the refeed, was undoubtedly a little bit higher the day after the refeed, where I was 94.2 kg. And then we checked in again two days later, we check in every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So Tuesday's check-in, which was yesterday, we woke up at 91.8 kg. And the look is just night and day, right? I look flat, I look fatigued, I look depleted prior to running that high carb day. Whereas now I'm looking leaner, I'm looking fuller, I'm looking sharper everything is looking much, much better, which is superb. And that's what we want, right? That's what we wanted the high day to achieve. We wanted to regain a little bit of that fullness, give us a nice little metabolic spike, which it has done because we've hit new lows on the scales. We're coming in tighter, we're coming in leaner. Performance has been a little bit better the past few days as well. It's really kind of helped me push on with that, which is superb, right? And that's what we want. So all in all, the high day has done the job and it served the purpose, right? And we're continuing to dig throughout the rest of this week. Now, I'm feeling leaner and leaner by the day at this point. We're noting, noticing visual changes day to day, which is great. And we want to be ready early, right? I spoke to Nath, I spoke to my coach and he wants me ready early, as, as does he with, with every single one of his clients, right? He's a phenomenal, phenomenal prep coach. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's got skin in the game as well. He's, he's an IFBB pro. So I fully trust him with everything. And we're actually looking to make another slight little dig as of next week in order to push for a little bit more condition and strip back a little bit more body fat, which I was probably expecting to run a high day a little bit sooner than that. But at the end of the day, we uh, yeah we put trust in our coach, right? There's a reason that I'm, I'm coached by him. He's one of the best in the game, like I mentioned. And I have no doubt that he's gonna, he's gonna guide me and bring in my best package to the stage this year. So that is the plan from here on out. We're looking to make another little dig towards the back end of this week, start of next week, in order to bring a little bit more condition and strip back a little bit more body fat. And we wanna be ready early, right? So I don't think we're gonna see many more high days on this channel anytime soon, maybe within the next few weeks, which I'll be looking forward to. But as for now, it's continuing to dig. Cardio's up by five minutes. We went from 30 minutes to 35 minutes cardio per session. Steps at 16,000 a day. Food still roughly at around 2,400 training day and 2,100 rest day. And that is pretty much that. In the next video, I'm gonna be taking you through my current training split and the full ins and outs of that because it's not just your standard kind of five day split that stays linear week to week. I do differ from training days depending on obviously the week and I do rotate the, the, the sessions around. So I'm gonna take you through that in as much depth as possible next video, but that was this video. Any questions at all, let me know. But other than that, take care. Like, share, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, and I will see you in the next one.